Hey guys, how you doing? As many people requested, I want to do a tutorial on uh, the acid etching and uh, you're gonna need some basic tools and uh, this is the stuff you etch with, the PCB etching solution got it for about $10 I think and Radio Shark, is there a price sack? I think it was around $10 it's a nice big bottle, what is it, half a liter? yeah, almost half a liter it's plenty enough, uh, I've put it into old old bottle like this with the white mouth where I can dunk the dunk the blades you know you see pretty pretty big blades you just have to like test it before to make sure that plastic is you know uh, absorbent enough for the for the acid so it won't melt through because I don't know what kind of plastic this will go through and it won't this one seems to be go holding good so you see I have about five and a half inches in, in this one you can also get narrower bottle to make it you know higher I know that after you know couple blades I will have to replace it because of course it's acid it's a chemical reaction more and more blades you use you know it wears out so you know that's kind of kind of natural now I want to do this blade because this is this is gonna be my folder that I will be definitely doing some more work on I'm gonna be doing titanium scales for it uh, for the titanium liners and I love the etching so I'm gonna definitely edge my blade too well one thing what I will do take it apart <coughs> I'll take this thing too what you definitely need to do you need to protect your edge the cutting edge uh, I want to protect the pivot holes the <coughs> the thumb stud hole oops what happened here <laughs> that's weird unplanned but whatever let's try to pop it back in <laughs> okay there we go and of course I use tactical pink because I said to myself I don't want my girl to have pink nails anyway so that's the one I stole from her <laughs> definitely gonna put nice amount of this on the, on the actual edge and you wanna make sure that it is covered good because on the first one I didn't make sure like it was just kinda like I did only the sides and I didn't pay attention if the actual edge is completely covered and I didn't let it dry completely which was a big mistake because it eats that steel really bad and especially on that super fine edge it will show it will really mess up that edge and it will be a lot of work to fix it up so you definitely want to make sure that you have enough there on the edge to cover it to protect it so what I did I actually went like this to really load it with that with the nail polish now I'm gonna cover the pivot hole and around it because uh, I want to have it nice and smooth where the washer is. I want to cover this hole so my thumb stud will not be moving. But everything else will pretty much go. And since I'm gonna be doing kind of random pattern on this, kind of like that teeth or fire or whatever pattern you want to call it I don't really have to care so much about being precise yep that's about it and uh, I'll just start drawing you know you can you can actually draw it with the magic marker too you know regular sharpie pen will create enough protection to do it not as clear as uh, as nail polish but it will it will create it and I'm gonna show you it will protect it and it will create the pattern even with just the magic marker it's really kinda awkward to do it like this on the camera of course you can take your time a little more when you do it do it nice and precise I'm gonna try to sketch it up real quick so the video is not too long 
make those kind of like a tid or flames or whatever you would call it. And I actually kind of like this in there also, in between those teeth. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I think it's gonna be pretty sweet. Yeah. That one could have been a little better. I think I have to do them a little bigger to match that opposite side. I'll do those little. little touches and now to show you that little trick with the magic marker what I'm gonna do I'm gonna uh, uh, just write 154 cm on the spine you see that and I'm gonna put my logo here and I'm gonna do it also on this side really awkward here just freehand like this with the tripod in between my hands I really don't like this. I'm gonna get rid of this one. Give me one second. Nice thing is that <coughs> before you etch it, you can always get rid of it, clean it up. Magic marker will go down nice and easy with the WD 40 or alcohol, which both of them I always keep around in my shop. Which one was the bad one? This one. You want to make sure that that layer is nice and thick. Let me give it a try again. Let's leave it at that. Uh, screw it, it's for me doesn't have to be that perfect and you know what just for the hell of it I'm gonna show you here also on the tank where would be a nice spot here It's just for the reference purposes on the video you, so you get the idea how it looks and what it does so let me just let me just blow it with the heat gun to help uh, help to dry it quicker I 
actually one more thing I just realized this side is pretty close to the edge so I'm gonna fill up these little spots here so I have more of that edge like on this side covered that's little okay that should be good let me let me do the heat gun again I'm just heating it up with the heat gun so the so the nail polish nail polish dries faster Now I actually just take a regular chain, uh, what is it called, ball chain, set it through this, through the tank, if you have folder or any other thing you can use, you know, regular tank hole or a pivot hole, you can open this and dunk it in. Uh, I think the, the acid was still pretty strong last time, it's gonna be about half an hour. Just dunk the whole thing in, make sure that the whole thing is submerged, you know, it just happened to fit perfect, perfectly there. And uh, in half an hour I'm gonna take it out and I'll show you how to clean it, how I clean it. Alright guys, so all I did was remove it from the acid, you know, took it to the bathroom, soap and brush, regular plastic brush wiped it real well you know and uh, some of the some of the nail polish already fell off but what we're gonna do is just you know regular polish remover take a paper towel you know and wipe the remaining nail polish off real quick should be fairly simple Clean the holes. Yep. And now the next step is the way I do it. You see, I just take a one of these sanding sponges with a very fine you know, grit and just wipe it down, you know, like scrape it down that will remove the, as you saw before, it was very dark that kind of patina, that edge was very dark, I'll show you here on the video now you see this is the wiped side already camera focus and this is the side that I was just washed with the soap. So it will get lot, you know, lighter, brighter, but you will still see a big difference, distinctive difference in the, the part of the blade that was covered and part that wasn't. Just use WD-40 there. Thank you. 
the spine. Other side. We'll do it here on the floor because the paper is just messing it up. I just really want to clean it all, the, get into all the crevices, you know, because it actually creates a three-dimensional crevices in there and that steel where you did the pattern that you will be able to feel with your nails and you definitely want to spend a lot of time cleaning it so you don't get that gunk there because it's you know it's chemically chemical reaction of that steel and the acid that has that little coating there and uh, let me try to show you in detail now what we ended up with now one fifty four c m is little it's not all that great it's very it's uh kind of got lost there I should have do that one probably with the with the mm, what is it called with the nail polish but if you look in here you see my logo clearly and also on this side here and also on the tank so if you have that good area there it gives that nice uh, nice edge and you see that pattern on the blade came out pretty sweet I like it this one couldn't this one didn't have to be like that but overall you know for a really quick job without uh, really paying attention doing it on the camera just drawing I like it I know I will be happy with it on my knife could be a little better but not that bad you know and like I said only your imagination are your limits you can do whatever you want with these guys yes, you can paint anything <laughs> so hope you enjoyed it guys hope you found it helpful again big uh, big props to Sir Joben for the manual for the tutorial that I learned this technique from and I'm just passing it on you guys so thank you for watching take care stay safe and remember don't cut yourself <laughs>